Hey, uh, good morning. Well, I think it's afternoon now. Never mind. I forgot I went to town. <laughs> I'm spitting some of our scenes. So if you hear me spitting, that's all it is. Um, I'm on the hunt for petroglyphs. Been here, done this, but I decided to come back. Um, so I got to go up this little hill. So I'm going to put you down so I don't fall. Okay? So I'm going to go explore this side of this mesa here. It's a very long, long mesa. Okay, happy trails. Hey, yeah. That's weird about hiking this area where there's petroglyphs. Too. You never see pottery. And I, I guess they don't go together. So what you got to do is just start looking. Um, I pretty much know where most of them are. But it's so easy to bypass them. Because sometimes you don't see them coming. But then you turn around when you're leaving. And then you see them. Kind of weird. Okay, so what I'm going to do is jump down in this vein. I call them veins. Basically what there are. It's a water trail. Uh, I'm going to say hi for a little bit. I'll be back. I always love what water can do. It makes all this cool landscape. A little hoodoos. I'm going to end up going to there. But I think I'm going to check this out first. I've been back in here. I don't know. Well, no, yeah, no, yeah. See, this is a water erosion. Pretty amazing what it can do. There's a lot of force, and that rock is hanging. So, what I'm going to do is step on this rock and go up and put my on, put my hand on that rock, and it'll probably fall. So, up I go. I'll be back. Hey, yeah, uh, I just can't seem to get jump started today. I don't know why. I know um, I've posted some of this before, but you know, every day is a different day. Um, this is one of the closer ones. There's another one there. And real faint in here. You can see some like diamonds in there. And there's a little bit there. So, this is a short hike. But, as you can see, it's kind of a rock scramble. So I'm going up there, oh, about a hundred yards. And I might just go a little further than that today, since um, I'm kind of taking the short way here. So, you know, the first time I did this, I was exploring it. So I was like all over and going further than I really needed to go. So, anyway, well, someday I want to make it all the way to the top of Mesa. And it's really not that far. It may look like it, but it's not. Okay, so you get yeah. yeah, this little area right in here almost looks man-made. Let's see if I can get you there without falling. Yeah, see how that, that almost looks like somebody made that. There's kind of a little circle right in here. Uh, yeah. You can see it. So I would say they must have made that. Um, by the way, this is uh, Tiwa, Tawa. And there's one other pronunciation. I don't know it. Um, it varies within... Oh, 15 miles it changes. So, I believe this way is Tiwa. Uh, oh, there's one up there. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'll be back, hopefully. I don't think I have to worry about rattlesnakes right now. But I'm not sure. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to scramble up that. 
Let's see a petroglyph. Oh, here's one right here. Before I let you go. That's a little bug. I got that. That one's cool. Okay, I'll be back. That's fun to show you what I'm doing. Now, this is definitely an ankle biter. A little risky, but I see a petroglyph up there. A little alien guy. So I'm going to go up there um, so you can see what I got to do. It's not as bad as it looks, but one screw up and it can be real bad. I'm looking behind me to see if I'm missing anything, but I'll see him when I'm coming down. Okay, that's it. Body out of the way. It's a little alien guy. Yeah, my body's gonna be in the way. Oh, maybe I'll put myself in the shadow. That doesn't work so well. well that's when I came up. Oh, that's a petroglyph on that rock right there. Spiral. Okay, looks like I'm gonna go up to there and make my, I think the lower part might have been easier, but oh well, every day is a different day, you know? Why do things the same way each time? You learn some new things. You see new things. That might be something right there. Ouch. Sometimes it's hard to say. Okay. As I look back, I think I went just a little bit too high. Um, in some ways. Well, I might have to go higher to get out of this. So I gotta go over to this. Because the main petroglyphs are back in there. So I gotta decide which way I wanna take her. That's sketchy anyway you go. Nah, not that bad. I'll be back. Hey. Excuse me. Uh, I'm not sure who's crazier. Me or the guy that came up here to do all this. So here's one right here. I'm almost standing on. And here's a little guy there. There's one right there. There's two there. So I gotta watch it because I could miss some. Okay, I'm gonna step on this rock. You just never know. I had one that wasn't stable. Okay, so here's a little stick man. Yeah, you just can't trust these rocks, so. Okay, I did see some way in the back. I'm gonna try to make my way that way. Pretty badass, huh? You know, I'm not that far from the top. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna make my way over that way. Because I think it's an easier, easier way. And possibly the way for me to get out of here. Instead of rock scrambling all the way down. Um, coming up's not so bad. It's when you go down, it's when you make mistakes and fall and twist an ankle or hit your head or whatever. I'll be back. I'm got hot. I got too many clothes on. There's another goofy little guy. Little alien looking dude. Uh, there's something real faint over there. But that does not look. Well, none of this looks like too much fun to get to. So, you know, you just got to make a decision whether, you know, it's worth it. But I could go through here and head to that tree and see. Well, I'm going to lose some clothes first. I don't see anything else. I left my binoculars back in my truck. Um, for one, they're too big to be bouncing off my chest, plus a big camera. Um, so there you go. I'll be back. Hey, here I stand. <laughs> here I stand next to a mountain. I chop it down with the edge of my hand. There's a real faint one there. Okay, so now, now that I come up here, I want to go over there. Because there's one that's not as faint. The more I looked, I keep seeing ways to go to the top of this bad boy. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm learning. You know, you do one hike and it evolves into another hike. 
So you don't necessarily have to do it all one day. You know, you can uh, explore, find new ways, and then you have a new hike. Simple as that. That's bad. Okay, I'm going that way, believe it or not. Oh, it's still hot. Okay, I've seen this guy's work before. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? When you recognize their style. There's like three of them there. I'm going to get closer. But I got to scramble over this stuff. I don't think that big rock's going anywhere time soon, anytime soon. But that's how close I am to the top. And the top is just littered with them. So now I know you can kind of see a path over there. I can go right up that to the top instead of doing all this. But I got to save my energy to go down. So I'm not going to go to the top today. Wow, well, wow. Well, okay, later. Okay, here I am. Um, dang, on a big rock. So now I think what I'm going to do is make my way over that way. Because there is kind of a weird looking path trail down um, and it's going to be much easier like I said it's much safer to go up than it is going down going down is when you twist your ankle get it stuck in between two rocks hit your head and now you're dead Fred I know I shouldn't be saying stuff like that right now but anyway that's the that's the truth okay here we go I'm going to go back down this so I'm going to Skip over there, skip there, down to there, make my way through there, and as long as I don't see anything that way, I'm gonna head down. Uh, but you never know about me. You know, sometimes I'll go all the way down and turn around and say, oh shit, how did I miss that? Okay, here I go, rock and roll. From where I stand, such as it is, let me try to turn around here. I'm standing on rock, so. I'm not as graceful as I was at 29. So, I'm not seeing any ooh-ahs worth me dying over. Um, there might be a little cross in there. And I'm sure there's a lot more. When I make the decision to go all the way to the top, I'm sure I'll see more. So, what I'm doing now, nah, I'm gonna spin. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so now, I'm going to make my way that way, down that way. You know, I probably should just go down from here now that I came up. Maybe I'll zigzag because there's kind of a level spot there where I can actually make some time going down. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Okay, you know, if you've never done this kind of a hike before, Make sure you bring somebody with you um, because so many things can go wrong and then there you'll be. Unfortunately, I've got phone signal right here, so um, if I do fall and I don't die, I can get help. And as you can probably hear, I'm not that far from the highway. So don't do this unless you know how to do this. I mean, normally... When you're hiking this kind of rock, fallen rocks like this, doesn't happen until up in the mountains, somewhere around the 12,000 foot mark. That's when you start to see rock slides like this. But uh, this mesa just happens to be full of them, as you can see. So, and, you know, and they do come loose and they do fall. So you got to keep that in mind too. You know, one of these bad boys decide, oh, I'm going to roll down on this guy. You know, they're going to do it. So, okay, uh, I'm making my way over to that grassy area, and then I'm going to drop down to the level. So here we go, rock and roll. Yeah, look. I got a piece of flat ground. Yay. So I made it through all that. You know, I... I went up close to that big grayish looking rock. Well, actually to the right of it. And the top is not that far. So now I know someday I can go up there. So this is going to be pretty easy going down. This is when I'll fall. Because it is easy. My hips are a little mad at me. In my last hike I did a, a lot of jumping. 
dropping down. So I was dropping down yeah, anywhere from five to seven foot. And some of them without any real foothold, so it was a little hard on this old man, but God, it was fun. And scary. And fun. Scary fun. Just for the way I like it. Happy trails, we're going down. It won't take me long to get back to my ride. This is the easy way. Later. Okay, I made it back up to the vein I came up through. So oh, here's the little kind of hoodoo looking guy. So, um, oh, sorry, a little fast. Don't get dizzy. So I went way up there. Well, from down here, the top looks a lot further. <laughs> And it's kind of an interesting light spot up there. So I think maybe in my next next trip I'll do that. So, happy trails, man. This has been fun. I'm getting hungry, though. I'm going to have to go home and cook. I could go out, but I'm going to be responsible. Okay, I'm going down. I don't want to mess this up, though. Okay, I'll be back. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Bye. I'll be back. That was a fun little rock scramble. Okay. I gotta keep you down. I don't want you to see. Oh, you can't see anything in here. I don't want to give this place up. Okay, down I go. Later.